What's up guys? It's Emperor John Kill 3D Gaming here with another video and today we're going to talk about the future Star Wars games. Is there a future for Star Wars games now with the success of Respawn Entertainment's Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order? Now, I uploaded the review yesterday and I'm currently still live streaming it on my channel with minor difficulties because of this whole YouTube nonsense going on, but I'll try to finish it when I can. But I just want to talk about has Respawn saved Star Wars games? Now, that's a stretch by saying that. Why? Because Jedi Fallen Order, yes, it is an amazing single player Jedi narrative experience. But there is a lot of things left on the cutting room floor for this game that could have made it even more legendary. But I'm sure, as the developers are keeping an open ear and an open listen to the fandom for this game, I'm pretty sure we will see future updates that will help this game out with its performance problems. Uh, they should be able to give us a new game plus mode, maybe. Some DLC story content, whether they be charged or free. Because this game is already worth the $60 packaging alone. So maybe some paid DLC with a little bit of free DLC would help out. You know, as in like a boss rush mode, for example. But should this give a sign to EA to allow other studios under their branch make Star Wars games? You can already trust Respawn. Respawn has crafted this game beautifully though like I said with technical setbacks but sacrifices need to be made for perfection and especially with the Star Wars license in the balance so what do you think they had to do craft it this way or allow respawn to do this but now they see what happens when you allow passionate game developers actually make the game the way they want it to make the game this is how it needs to be done so, should there be a Fallen Order 2? I think so. Will we see it before the next before the, the next generation consoles? I don't know. That could be yes or no. Maybe Jedi Fallen Order 2 should be put to the next gen and solely developed on next gen just so they could fix all the problems they had the first time around. Now, if I were EA this is how I would handle the future of the Star Wars license. I would trust Respawn to do this Souls-inspired type of Saber Jedi game. This linear experience that would give the players the satisfaction of a single-player story-driven experience. I would let Respawn handle that. Bioware, I would give them the rights to do Old Republic again. I would let them make a canon Old Republic game series, whether it be a massive MMORPG or a regular R single player RPG that's open world and galaxy to galaxy. And then yes, we all know this is going to be EA in between. They're going to want to have a multiplayer shooter or a multiplayer-esque Star Wars game. So the way I would see it is take two to three years to develop a really good or one to two really good single player Star Wars experiences and then also give us the multiplayer so we can have uh, different Star Wars genres, you know, different Star Wars play styles. Let's say we want to take a break from playing a single player Star Wars game and we want to jump into a multiplayer Star Wars shooter or a Star Wars Battlefield type game. That is the way I think it should be handled. Okay? So, Jedi Fallen Order though, I think a sequel on this should be the next step before they decide to make any other Star Wars games. Unless they want to take the risk soon, but do it right. Because there is a Star Wars game planned for 2020. Don't know. Obviously, it can't be a Fallen Order 2. And DICE apparently is dead set on not a Battlefront 3. They're content with supporting Battlefront 2 as much as they possibly can. Or to probably even cross-gen it. It's very similar to Left 4 Dead with Xbox 360 to the Xbox One, which I think that's a good way to handle it. Now, what could this game be in 2020? Who knows? I, but like I said, 
the future of Star Wars games as a whole is now paved in the right direction. And now EA should understand to stay out of the gaming developers business. Not by staying out of it. Obviously they have to have an input in since they publish it and their name is on it. But let the developers sit back and make the game the successful game that they want to make. You could see the results. You clearly see the results now with Jedi Fallen Order. You know? And yes, I I highly agree with the criticisms this game has. But at the end of the day, it keeps you coming back. And the story is worth going through one or twice, maybe three times. Because it, there's so much emotion in the game. There's so much Star Wars-esque dialogue, both cheesy and serious, to reminisce the entire series. Since this game is obviously set five years after the prequels, and we're now into the Imperial time frame, so we're in the middle of both prequel era and original trilogy era content. And I think this was the great point to make the game. And drawing inspiration from multiple different games, yes, may seem unoriginal, but it has never been done in a Star Wars game. The Soul style, the Uncharted style, the Assassin's Creed style, none of that has truly been done in Star Wars before. That's what makes it fresh and new, new, unique. Uh, forgive my stuttering, you know. Apologize for that one. But a very unique experience. But what does the future hold? I don't know. Do I want to see more games from Respawn first? Absolutely. Can you trust EA? I would take that with a grain of salt. But anyway, the future of Star Wars games seems to be going on the right path. Let's just hope it stays that way. So this is Emperor John Kill 3D Gaming. I'll catch you all guys in the next video and be sure to look out for the next Jedi Fallen Order stream.